It is happening. The signs of the last day's prophecies are happening, just as Bible prophecy foretold. And it's revealing that we are nearing the end of this age of grace and the appearance of Christ Jesus the Lord. And this signs of the last day's ministry is here, watching with you and praying with you as we declare the biblical signs of what is really happening in the world. That is the true prophetic path from now to the appearance of Christ Jesus the Lord as we are helping people to get ready now for when Lord Jesus appears for his church. Thank you so much for being a part of this Signs of the Last Days Church community, praying and giving to support this ministry to be here. There's news this week where Donald Trump has again been elected as president of the United States in an election campaign where witches, Hollywood celebrities, assassins, the media, special counsels, and district attorneys, they all tried to stop Trump, but they all failed. Where from the witches' spells to the Hollywood celebrity campaign pitches, to the media's critical stories, to the attorney's legal cases, and even the assassin's bullets, they could not stop Trump from being elected again as president. Why? Why did all this huge effort in so many various areas of domain, all exercising their skills, expertise, and power, why did they all fail in their one singular goal of stopping Trump? Even the witches said that as they gathered each time to cast their spells on Trump, so to curse him from winning the election, they said they could sense and tell that their spell casting was bound and blocked by something. And now it's happened in one of the most unlikely but amazing comeback stories of all time, where it seemed nothing could stop it, that it was destined to happen. Now Trump was elected again as president. But what does it mean? Is this for a blessing, or is it actually for sending judgment upon America? In what has been one of the most tumultuous elections in the history of America, that included one candidate withdrawing and being replaced with another, and then included another candidate being ambushed by an assassin wounded by a sniper's bullet that clipped his head, then being almost ambushed again by a second assassin, also including legal charges brought against a candidate in a long list of cases, and there were many campaign speeches with extreme rhetoric. Yet, Donald Trump came through all of that to be elected as the 47th president of the country of America with a resounding, strong victory with him winning 30% more electoral votes than his opponent while also winning the majority of the popular vote, which that was the first time someone from his political party had won both the electoral vote and the popular vote in many years, as Trump mounted one of the most momentous comebacks in all of American political history. Where four years after leaving Washington and after defying the blame for triggering a January 6th Capitol riot, and defying not one but two presidential impeachments, also defying criminal convictions and other criminal charges, and even defying two assassination attempts. Yet Trump, after all of this, was found this week on the stage giving an acceptance speech saying, I want to thank the American people for the extraordinary honor of being elected your 47th president and your 45th president as Trump is now only the second president in American history to win non-consecutive terms. How could this have happened over what seemed like 
insurmountable odds and opposition, where politicians, their political parties, their Hollywood celebrities, then assassins, the media, special counsels, and district attorneys, and even witches, they all tried to stop Trump but failed. In Israeli and Canadian media, they reported how that university professors who study the growing modern witch movements said that hundreds, even thousands of witches practicing spiritual wickedness to the powers of the darkness of this age, that they were all gathering together, burning orange and our yellow candles along with tarot cards and pictures of Donald Trump, where they then would have synchronized rituals burning the candles and drawing and placing tarot cards and saying words of incantation against Trump while burning the images of Trump into the ground as they cast occult spells to bind Trump and block his return to the White House in this election. And they reported, those that were monitoring this, they reported that these witching occult rituals had really gained momentum and participation as the election neared especially when there was a renewed energy, they said, from the witches once that Kamala got the nomination. But then they said that they noticed something, that they noticed that the witches were complaining that their spells were being blocked because they said Trump has some kind of protection around him. We're in their witching email groups and in their Reddit groups that were being monitored, they said that the witches were complaining in their posts that the magic was doing no good. Their magic was doing no good. As they said that they could tell that Trump had a form of protection surrounding him that was feeding off of their magic that they were trying to do against him. To where the witches finally, they just stopped focusing on Trump to bind him because they said they were only helping him. So they started focusing their magic on trying to help, their, to help his opponent and to protect themselves, while also posting to other witches in their groups that, hey, it won't work to try to bind Trump and warn them to stop casting spells at him because you're only helping him which this all reminds me of the Holy Bible scriptures like Genesis chapter 50 and Matthew chapter 5 that teach what people speak meant for evil against someone that God can turn it for good to be the blessing. For it is the word of the Lord God of heaven that rules and it is, it is his purposes that are the sure destiny. There is no enchantment. There is no divination. There is no evil effort that can block what the Lord God wills to have done. And now, after what some are calling a miracle, for Trump to have overcome not one but two different opposition candidates in one election, and to have moved his head just enough in time for the sniper bullet to miss his brain by an inch, saving his life. And after all the many charges and accusations that were laid against him by politicians, district attorneys, and special counsels, and Hollywood celebrities to stop Trump, he still had a majority of Americans to ignore all of them and to use their voice of their own vote to elect him to the presidency. So it's possible to understand why there are many who think that it was divine destiny for Trump to be elected to the presidency again in these last days of prophecy, in a time when there is such division and conflict and the prophetic prince of Rus over the Russians of Gog of Magog is on the march 
and aggression threatening Eurasia and the Prince of Persia of Iran is causing conflict and the Middle East is on fire around Israel. Even Trump himself has said, even he referred to it even in his acceptance speech this week. He said that God protected his life for a reason. But what is the reason? The real question now is, will what have happened now in this election with Trump seemingly miraculously elected again to the presidency, will this be the Trump of blessing on America or will this be the Trump of judgment on America? Was this powerful mandate that Trump says was given to him in this election with his strong electoral majority and winning the popular vote, along with him also winning the majority of seats in the Senate and looking like he will have the majority in the House of Representatives with this consolidation of power, with a powerful mandate in an unfettered presidency, will it be for the purpose of the blessing? are to bring the judgment. Will America, through this now, receive the godly blessings of peace and prosperity from the Lord to where wars are not started, but they are stopped, and where America's glorious destiny is unlocked and enters a golden age, as the president-elect said himself in his acceptance speech this week, are Will America through this now receive judgments upon it for the profaneness that is in and covers the land, where the laws of the land are brought into question, where institutions are fragmented, where the turmoil of division and conflict increases, to where there is the retribution of judgment within the borders? How will we know which it will be? whether it will be the blessing or the judgment. We will know by the sound of the trump. The biblical Jewish trump was the shofar made of a ram's horn. And the shofar the trump was used by the Hebrews for the purposes of communication to God's people as there were significant, distinct calls that could be made on the chauffeur or trump to the people. One of these was the call to conflict, to battle, where they would go up on a hill and make the chauffeur call to battle, which that was nine short, hard, staccato blasts by the trump of the ram's horn. Something similar to this. But then another one of the distinct soundings of the chauffeur or trump was the call to jubilee, our rejoicing in the goodness of God. And that was just one long, smooth blast by the trump of the ram's horn. That was something similar to this. <laughs> So God's people would listen for the sound coming from the trump. And those with an ear to hear would know by the sound coming from the trump, whether it was a time of goodness and blessing or a time of the conflict of judgment. And no mistake about it, America is now living under the time of the trump as he has now 
become one of the most significant political figures in the history of America. And what he says now will be what happens for America today and into the next years. And what sounds from the Trump coming out of his mouth, whether it is hard staccato blast calling for conflict, or it is a long, smooth blast calling to goodness and blessing, can determine if America has more time of grace or is now brought into judgments, which further removes America from being able to participate on the world stage, which that can facilitate the fulfillment of last day's prophecies that are related to Israel with the Canaanite Arabs, the Persians of Iran, and Magog, Russia, in the Middle East. And these events and conditions that are happening now are warning signs pointing us to the nearing fulfillment of the last day's prophecies at the end of this age that are revealing it's time to prepare now for the nearing appearance of Jesus Christ for his church by being born again of the water and the spirit into the kingdom of God as Lord Jesus commanded that we must in John chapter 3 verses 3 through 5 as his apostles authorized and sanctioned by Lord Jesus in Matthew chapter 16 verses 18 through 19 described how in the acts of their preaching in the Acts of the Apostles in the Holy Bible in chapters 2, 8, 10, and 19. These are momentous times. This time of Trump is going to be momentous that I believe will set the stage for prophecy relative to America and the world. You do not want to be unprepared for the appearance of Jesus Christ for his church that will be the most momentous event to ever happen in the past thousands of years. And if you would like help finding someone in your area where you're located to biblically pray for you, and baptize you according to the acts of the preaching of Jesus and his chosen apostles, actually in their holy Bible scriptures. Please contact us here at Signs of the Last Days Ministry to help you find someone. Our contact information is on our website. Our website is signsofthelastdays.org.org. Our contact information is down at the very bottom of the website page. We're in the footer. In smaller print there, you'll find our email address, which is info at signsofthelastdays.org. Please use that email address and email us with the name of your town, your state, and don't forget your zip code. With your request for a location in your area for biblical prayer and baptism, and we'll be glad to work to help you and to respond to you. We've helped people all across the United States and in other countries with their requests. The prophecies are coming true. The perilous times of the last days are here. And the need is greater than ever before for a prophetic ministry like signs of the last days ministry that declares the path of the prophetic signs from now to the glorious appearance of the Lord Jesus Christ for his church. Please support this ministry to continue with your prayers, and with your offerings. Thank you for being a part of the prophetic declaration of the great promise of the coming of Christ the Lord by helping this prophetic ministry to share the signs of Bible prophecy to the world. Please be watching for our next videos and also for our next Watch and Pray live stream broadcast as our Watch and Pray live stream on Sunday evening, where we will have then a prophetic word from the Lord then to share with our last day's church of more signs 
of the last day's prophecies that are happening now. Please make sure you're subscribed to and following this channel. Please click the bell to get all notifications for our live streams and videos as we are going to be sharing more prophetic signs of the end time prophecies that are happening now in the world, showing that the time of this age is growing short and that we must get ready now. Oh